Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm sitting down at a cafe in Pamplona, a city in northern Spain. This morning I came here to attend a film festival called Ponto de Vista Documentary Film Festival. And between two sessions of film, I have a long lunch break and I have this burning desire to have a chat with you guys. So I'm making this video without much preparation. I want to talk about entering the art world or breaking into the art world or penetrating the art world. And you might say, wait a second, that was the last video's topic. Precisely. Three days ago, I made a video on my personal experience as a PhD researcher entering the world of academia, and I hope my experience could help you enter the world of art better or easier. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can have a look at it before this video. So this is the part two. I want to continue talking about this topic because I found a very interesting debate in the comment section. So one artist said, hey, instead of uh, waiting around for the art world, to open the doors for you, for the galleries to get back to you. Why don't you go to Etsy, open a store and build a business for yourself? I like the initiative because I do believe artists should take the steering wheel of your own art business instead of waiting around for things to happen. So totally I agree. And another artist who is also a longtime subscriber of this channel had his own concern. So he said, if you build an Etsy business, it will not translate to your art world, art career, because the galleries have a different clientele. You might have a different communication. It's a whole different market system, positioning. So you might have to get a reset and do it from zero. So it can be a first trading experience for you because you have worked so hard to build an online business and suddenly Suddenly now you have everything reset and you have to start from zero as a junior. I think they both had excellent points and that's why I think I should be making this longer video um, talking more in depth about this because this is quite a common question. At least four or five times someone asked me this question like I want to use Etsy or Fiverr or Upwork or I don't know whatever platform that is not a fine art platform that is let's say not like Art Finder or Sachi Art. You still use your skills but it's a totally different market. And this artist wants to eventually get into the gallery system, to uh, be in a museum, to uh, die in art history books. So uh, should you, in the meanwhile, like in a short-term tactic, you do uh, Etsy, and then in the mid-long term, you enter the art world, like art world in one word. Is that a good idea? So it's an excellent question. I cannot just tell you yes or no, because it depends on your personal situation. What's important for you? What is the most urgent needs? You know, your me term long-term goal with your short-term goal should align because you shouldn't be like chasing different goals running to different uh, uh, kind of directions it's like jumping from one world to another every time it's a reset so you wouldn't want to waste your energy money and time should you or not let me uh, kind of analyze it first of all I want to share with you some pros and cons so you can have a better idea let's start with the pro the pro is that you can make money without any money to start any business, you need to have a uh, kind of startup capital. For example, you want to sell all your um, canvas. You need to buy all your painting and canvas, and that's money. Um, any kind of uh, business business, you need to invest. And if you don't have money to invest, you're broke and you need to make money, you're in a very bad situation, right? So what can you do? In this case, Etsy is not a bad idea, right? So because you can uh, sell uh, digital downloads, you can sell print on demand. There are many uh, print on demand platforms platforms like uh, Gelato or whatever, those kind of things that you can integrate within and you can have a deal with uh, Etsy to make a marketing campaign. So if you have zero follower, you want some clients, you can have this campaign. If someone buys your work or your marks, to be more precise, you will be able to get some money, like very little, and the majority of the money goes to uh, the campaign. But nevertheless, you're able to, uh, let's say, make some money without any prior investment. So that could be an advantage if you are running out of resources or, or business ideas. So selling things on Etsy or selling commissions on Fiverr, selling design works on Upwork, they're all good ideas compared to sitting around doing nothing. The second pro is that you can gain relevant experience without prior experience. Right? When I say relevant, I mean that it's not like you're waiting tables or babysitting or cleaning dishes or you know just doing any kind of work. At least you are able to work in the creative industry. 
you can gain valuable skills and experience that you can use in your art business. Like you learn how to promote your design. You can use the same to promote your art, but with a twist. You learn how to do customer service, how to talk to people, how to make videos to promote your Mercs. Again, to uh, promote your own art is different than Mercs, but nevertheless, you will learn how to edit a video, how to make a Facebook campaign. So all of the things you're able to kind of bring with you for the rest of your life. This is another good thing. And now let's move on to the disadvantages because it's not just all sunshine and rainbows. Again, I didn't make any rehearsal, so I will just talk when the words come to my mind. So the first con is that it might be a waste of your time. You only have 24 hours a day. How many hours can you spend on your art? Maybe one, two, three, maximum eight. I don't think you can spend more than eight because you have to eat, you have to do some other things, take care of your family. You have a young child, you need to babysit. You have some other responsibilities, school, work. So maybe you only have like on average one or two hours to work on your art and you need to practice your skills. You need to learn art history. You need to network with uh, people in the art, uh, professional art industry, right? So in the art world, so you need to do many things. And if you waste your time in developing your Etsy business, you might not be able to use the time well to develop your real art career because after all your life's goal is to end up in a museum so you shouldn't be beating around the bush doing something else so you just go directly to your goal and try to work in a, within the same kind of direction for example using the time you can volunteer for an art gallery you can volunteer for a, let's say a museum and you can build more network experience in a more relevant way your time is very valuable. It's, it's the most unrenewable resource because you only have one life. I mean, I don't know about reincarnation. Maybe there is, but maybe there's not. The summer is coming right now. Okay, it's a bit windy. It's kind of cloudy. It doesn't feel like summer. I'm still wearing my jacket, but imagine summer is coming. Then summer is going. Then summer is coming again. After 50 times, you and me, we're both dead, right? So you want to use every single day of your life working towards your life's goal, what you meant to do on earth, instead of trying to chase some coins that you might not even get. And the second con is that art galleries might have a bad idea about you because uh, they might have some kind of bias. Imagine they will ask you, you know, what have you done last year? You say, I built an Etsy store. So if you build an unsuccessful store and they might think, okay, you didn't really want to build yourself an art career. You wanted some quick money. You didn't get, now you're here. Like they might think that you did not fight hard enough to try to get into the world of art. You're not dedicated. You're not keen enough. And if, let's say, you have a very successful Etsy store, an ongoing business, they might be reluctant to invest in you because every penny they invest in you, all the energy and hours of work, you can benefit more from this than them, right? And one day you can run away because you don't need them anymore. You run two successful art business by yourself and they will lose you. They will lose the energy and the investment. And it's like a channel conflict. If you know marketing, this is a typical channel conflict case. You might want to conceal or not lie about it, but at least not show it in a way that it could conflict your art career. So art business on Etsy versus your art career, you might want to separate it. Again, when you separate it, you are resetting, right? So whatever you gained in one parallel universe will not be able to bring with you to another one so you don't have any advantage. So after hearing the pros and cons, just as a summary, basically, if you need more money, go for Etsy. You don't have any other means to get money, go. If you need more time, go for a art career. Don't waste your time on Etsy because time is as precious, as uh, valuable as money, even more valuable. So you don't want to waste your time on something that will not help you in the long run. Again, I don't know your personal situation, uh, what you are facing, the challenges in life. I'm not sure if uh, Etsy is for you or not. So let me try to imagine your profiles and let me kind of try to guess. Profile number one, if you are a broke artist who is still at school, let's say you are in the last years of your high school or you are in college and you need some money, <laughs> like this is your priority. 
then I would say Etsy is good for you because uh, you are still young. You can like you have nothing to lose, right? Like try it, experiment, and people will understand you even if you try you know a lot of different things. When they look at your resume, they think, oh, 18 year old tried everything. Why not? Like you know you don't have your reputation <laughs> to lose. Profile number two: If you are a full time office worker, you don't have any prior art experience. You don't know anybody in art, but you have a passion for drawing, for painting, and you want to build a art career eventually,、uh, maybe as a let's say a second career artist. I made this word up. I don't know if it's a, like a proper way to call it. Basically, to start your art career later in life. But right now, you're not ready. You still have a day job. You have a commitment, and you want to test water. In this case, it's not a bad idea because you cannot really sell in gallery right away anyway. You have so much more commitment on other areas in life, and you know at least Etsy you can decide to close it right away, and you will not lose your reputation or hurt anyone's interest just by opening and closing the Etsy store. All your waste is your own time, your energy. So try it, test water to see if the collectors like your work, the feedbacks from the market, and you are able to kind of get the first-hand information to see if, in the future, you are able to make it in the world of art or not. Profile number three: If you are art school graduate with a supporting, loving family, especially if they have paid for your tuition, you are not like drowning with financial crisis. You have food on the table, you have a roof over your head, and you have a degree in art. In this case, I would say, no, don't waste your time with Etsy because. You want to compete where you are best at, right? At your competitive edge. You don't want to compete when you don't have any advantage. You are not trained to compete in、uh, online in Etsy, so I would say、uh, stick to the gallery system because that's where you're trained for. You have the best chances in.、Uh, go ahead, and、uh, you just have to push it through. Maybe you have to wait longer time. You have to try harder, but you're not in a hurry. You have、uh, no. Pressure. So take your time and focus, concentrate on what you really want to achieve, and maybe after a couple of years, things will work out for you eventually. And in the meantime, you just have to be patient and to continue building your portfolio and、uh, enriching your own experience. Maybe do some residencies, maybe、uh, work on some volunteering projects, and. Travel maybe after the pandemic a little bit and try to work it out on your side, and that should be a better kind of a, a career path for you. So I don't know if、uh, I'm helpful because I've been talking a lot about different kind of things. It's really a chatty video. I have no idea even what I just said. Hopefully this video is helpful for you.、Um, if this is the case, let me know in the comment below. All right, so the sun is setting. I might go back to my film festival.、Um, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.